Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And it is my job, my responsibility as an astronomer to remind people that alien hypotheses should always be a last resort. It was looking for what astronomers call a transit. This is when the planet's orbit is aligned in our line of sight, just so that the planet crosses in front of a star. And when this happens, it blocks out a tiny bit of starlight, which you can see as a dip in this curve. This seemed to indicate that whatever was getting in the way and blocking the starlight was not circular like a planet. And so what was happening had to be astrophysical, meaning that something in space was getting in the way and blocking starlight. First, somebody said, well, you know, what if this star was actually very young and it still had the cloud of material it was born from surrounding it? And then somebody else said, well, what if the star had already formed planets, and two of these planets had collided, similar to the Earth-Moon forming event? How about a huge swarm of comets that are passing by the star in a very elliptical orbit? Of all the bad ideas we had, this one was the best. Now, you may be wondering, OK, Tabby, well, how do aliens actually explain? And so if they were able to capture more energy from this star, then that would solve their energy needs. We're in a situation that could unfold to be a natural phenomenon we don't understand or an alien technology we don't understand. What will it mean when we find another star like this? And what will it mean if we don't find another star like this?